Foundation just released the third episode of its second season, and I have a lot to say about it. First of all, congrats to this show for raising the bar with each release episode. I mean, in a world where Star Wars productions keep disappointing and Star Trek shows keep underperforming, I see Foundation as a precious metal that needs to be preserved at all costs. Yes, despite the fact that it has nothing to do with the books, I truly like this show and believe that it will be regarded as one of the best sci-fi masterpieces in the near future. The third episode of the show's second season, titled Cayman Commoner, continued to back my opinion of the show. It introduced new brilliant characters, brought some dead ones to life, and raised the stakes to the sky. So without further ado, let's see what happened in the show and debunk how things will proceed in future episodes. First, let's start with a storyline that we were all excited about. The storyline of one and only Hober Mallow. As Foundation fans, I believe we were all patiently waiting for this character to be introduced in the series. Finally, he is here. And in my opinion, even though he is a cliché space common so far, they have done a great job in casting him. Dimitri Leonidas has both the looks and charisma of a character like Hober Mallow, and I can sense the enjoyment he had while playing the character through the screen. In a very similar nature to our beloved Han Solo, Hober Mallow is one of those people who have the luck of the devil on their side. I believe he can trick anyone and escape everyone without facing any consequences, so it will be an interesting journey to watch him grow through the Foundation's cause. Also, is it just me or is there an interesting chemistry between him and Brother Constant? If these two somehow mingle with one another, I'll be surprised and pleased at the same time, as I feel like such a subplot can contribute to Hober's story a lot. Next, let's talk about the story of Bell Rios. Okay, I have to admit, when they mentioned Bell Rios in the previous episode, I didn't care about it all that much. I couldn't foresee the potential importance of him for the overall picture. But more importantly, I couldn't imagine what kind of a tragic story was ahead of us. In my opinion, this episode did a great job of covering the background of Bell Rios and introducing him to us as a character. Right now, we know who he is and what he cares about in life. He is a very clever man who truly loves his job. But more importantly, he cares about the Empire and the people of the Empire, despite what he had to go through for years. Don't get me wrong. He doesn't respect the Emperor by any means. And yet, he respects the Empire, which is why he seems quite happy to reprise his position as a general and move to the Outranges. I have one question, though. How did they manage to fix those teeth in such a short amount of time? It's very much impressive. Now, last but certainly not least, let's talk about the trio that I'm most conflicted about. Each episode starts with these three's adventures, and each time I can't help but feel a bit bored. But, again, each episode ends with these three's adventures, and each time I can't help but feel quite excited about what will happen next. I think I finally figured out what I don't like about watching Hari, Gale, and Salver together. I don't like their chemistry and interaction with one another. I believe all three of these actors are quite talented in their own right. However, they don't have any chemistry with one another. Their interaction doesn't make any sense. They feel forced at all times as no one in their right mind would act agitated at all times. And yet, here we are, watching Gale and Hari being tense and unreasonable at all times, while Salver is unreasonably calm no matter what happens. I just don't get it. On the other hand, I think their adventure is really exciting and each time they end up with a mystery they need to solve, which is really fun to watch. For instance, this time we met with Kal, who was supposed to die centuries ago. However, here she was, alive and well. Then, as if this was not mysterious enough, we watched Hari come back to life. Why? I have no idea. How? Who knows? In the previous episodes, I mentioned that I don't see why we are supposed to have Hari around to keep the story going. And I still stand by that statement. But, if we will have him around, I prefer him in full flesh. So I'm ironically glad that he is back and can't wait to figure out what he has gone through within the cave. Which parts of the episode did you like the most? Which character's journey do you enjoy the most so far? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.